happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be showing you all how to do a hard gel overlay on natural nails um but before we hop into the video i want to show you guys some new gel polishes that i got really quick rosalind was kind enough to send over some more gel polishes for me to review and i'm excited about these because they glow in the dark y'all know i love a good glow polish set this packaging is actually really beautiful it's different from the other rosalind packaging that I'm used to seeing um, is really beautiful with the white and gold. And over here it says be your own manicurist and baby that's what it is. And so yeah this here just talks about um, the polishes. It's seven free um, and then it has all the ingredients. So this is a 10 piece set okay you guys. They were asking me which set I wanted. I opted for a glow in the dark set because they're just fun to play with. So I'm going to take all these out and we'll take a closer look. Again I'm loving the packaging. Loving the gold and the white. It's looking really nice. These are 6 ml bottles. Again, I like the gold, I like the white, and I actually like the packaging where it's like this kind of pearlescent, iridescent kind of look to the bottle. Really beautiful. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what each of these colors look like. C475. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a really beautiful light pink color. I like that a lot. That's gorgeous. Okay. C476. Ooh, that's nice too. So this is a really beautiful kind of like soft like pastel nude color. That's really beautiful. D477. Ooh, that's nice too. This is a really beautiful light blue like an icy blue. That's really gorgeous. Love that. C478. Very beautiful. So this is like a really like light peachy color. That's really nice. C479. No, oh, that's nice. This is like a really pretty like lavender color. Yeah, that's really pretty. So this is like a pastel collection, but the reason I picked this is because it glows in the dark. How beautiful, you know. C480. Okay, this is another light blue color, but it's, it's a little bit lighter. Kind of like a sky blue. C481. Huh, this looks similar to the other one. So it's another like light purple color, but I guess just a little bit lighter. <laughs> C482. Okay, just another pink color, but again, just a little bit softer than the original one. Okay, C483. Okay, and this is kind of like a, it, it's kind of like, it reminds me of a milky white color, but more opaque. This is also really pretty. I like this one. Last but not least is C484. Okay, pretty. It's a nice, pretty yellow pastel. So that is really nice. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go through and swatch these. I'm going to just swatch, you know, maybe one or two on camera with you guys. The first one I'm going to swatch here is the C475. Mm, that's pretty. Okay, that's a really nice coverage for it being like a pastel color. You know, it almost looks like a milky pink color. <laughs> it's pretty though. Yeah, it's nice. I'm liking the consistency and I'm liking the coverage. The coverage is really nice. Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. So I'm going to swatch C476. And yeah, these are actually pretty opaque for them being pastels. I actually thought they were going to be not as opaque, so that's really nice. I like it. Okay, happy people, as I am swatching these gel polishes, I will say that I was really impressed with the opacity of them, especially since they are pastels. Uh, typically, pastels don't tend to be um, so opaque. They kind of normally like on the sheer side, but uh, yeah, I'm really liking these polishes. They put me in the mind of a Born Pretty polish, and so... Um, yeah, they are available on Amazon. Um, I did check while um, I was filming this video and right now there's actually a $2 off coupon code. I was also given a discount code as well, so I'll leave that here on the screen as well as in the description. And whichever one is the better discount, um, I would say go for it if you guys are interested. And I love, love, love the fact that these polishes also glow in the dark. Alrighty, so this is what everything looks like swashed out. You all can see this is a really pretty like pastel collection. So I'm gonna give you all up closest of what all the colors looks like. This is the C475. Again, it's a really pretty, just soft, light pink color. C476, a really beautiful pastel peach. C477, which is a really beautiful light blue. C478, which is this um, really, really light um, 
pastel yellow color. C479, which is a really pretty lavender um, pastel. C480, which is kind of like a light mint pastel color. I really like that one. C481, which is it's kind of like a periwinkle blue, I think. Um, and I think I'm saying that right, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's really pretty. Light, another light blue, just slightly lighter than the C477. C482, which is an even lighter pastel pink than the original. Then we have this really beautiful, it's kind of like a, almost like a milky white, but it's a really kind of off-white, maybe ivory looking color. And that's C483. And last but not least, we have the C484, which is a, another light pastel yellow, but a little bit more opaque. So this is what all the colors are looking like. And then I want to show you all. And this is what the glow looks like on these gel polishes. It is really, really good. Like, wow. Y'all know I love a good glow polish, okay? So yeah, this is what all of them look like glowing in the dark. And this is what they look like with the lights on. So I really love that they have a pastel collection that glows. That's that's really, really cool. So yeah, y'all. Yee, I love it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using these to do the nail art over my hard gel overlay. Any product I have on my nails right now, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, and I'm gonna file shape buff my nails, and I'll be right back. For my hard gel overlay, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be going in finally with my Lisette's gel nails. I actually just found some new storage, so I just wanted to show you all how I am actually storing all of my Lisette's gel nail products. I'm storing in this really cool container that I got from Dollar Tree that was only a 125, okay? But I think I'm gonna be going in with, um, Dusty Rose and Brown Orchid. I think these were the two when I did my swatch video that I really liked. If y'all haven't checked that out, I'll leave it linked um, in the description box as well as in the cards. But yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and pick out what I need y'all. And we gonna hop into this look, okay? I'm gonna need it all actually. <laughs> So my nails have been file shaped and buffed. I'm gonna go ahead and dust them off. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is to um, dehydrate my nail bed with some alcohol. Just with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, just go ahead and get all this dust and debris off of my nails, okay? And I do have a dedicated video um, with my nail prep, like exactly what I did off camera to get my nails to this point. And I will go ahead and leave that video linked down in the description box below so you all can see my prep process. So this is what all of my nails are looking like now, okay? And so I am first gonna go in with Lisette's um, dehydrator. And that's what I'm gonna use to prep my nails. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a wild blossom on all of my fingers except for my ring finger. And on my ring, I'm gonna go in with dusty rose, okay? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my rubber base coat. I'm gonna apply this to all the nails and then cure for 60 seconds. With this rubber base coat, Lisette, in her video, she always really kinda, she says use a scrubbing motion to scrub it into the nail. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set it down and then I'm gonna take my brush and just really scrub that product into my nail bed. Um, I have too much on that one here, but just kind of scrub it in so that it gets into all the grooves and crevices on the natural nail bed and it's going to form a really good base for her hard gel to stick to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick to all the nails. I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. There is a slight heat spike with the rubber base coat as well. So I just put my nail in the lamp, just took it out. Oof, baby, it's, it's hot though. Okay, it's a little hot. Now that that's been cured for 60 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my number four brush, okay? And I really like these brushes a lot. That's what it looks like here. So I'm gonna go in with Wild Blossom on all my fingers except for my ring finger. Do a slip layer first, and then I'm gonna go in and build the nail. So I'm gonna do my slip layer really quick. I think this was way too much for a slip layer. I'm gonna take some of this off the nail here. <laughs> Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and just do a quick slip layer. Get nice and close to the cuticle, like so. Then next, I'm gonna go and try to build the structure of the nail a little bit. To build the nail, I'm gonna go ahead and place the bead kind of close to the cuticle. And then I'm gonna just fold the product down the length of the nail, okay, like so. Okay. 
That looks good. I'm gonna take just another small amount of gel. When you have to reconnect, you just kind of place it down to connect the bead again. And then just flow left, right, left, right. And that looks good. I'm gonna flip it over to see if I can get it to self level. This gel does move really slow, okay? Which I actually like because it gives me time to like fix my structure and what I need. Y'all, this color is gorgeous by the way, okay? And what I am gonna do is go ahead and try to see if I can get it even. It seems like there's a little bit of lumpiness to it. So I'm just gonna float the product out a little bit and that's gonna kinda help build an apex as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more product here to the edge of the nail. Like so. That looks great. It looks perfect to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Baby, yes. Okay, y'all, so this is what this nail is looking like. I love this color. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so yeah, and I feel like I did pretty good, y'all. Look at my little structure here, okay? There's no apex on the nail, but I don't think I actually wanna build one. I think I like it like this because I do plan on doing like a lot of sets on top of this. Um, and so I think I, I got it right, y'all. I got it right. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process on the middle finger here. And again, you'll wanna go in with a slip layer first. So I'm gonna go in with my slip layer here and just apply the gel. I'm getting as close as the cuticle and sidewalls as possible without actually touching. And then dragging the rest of the product down like so. Okay. And then from there, I start with it at the cuticle first, like so. Oh, I touched it, okay. And then you'll bring it side to side, like so. And then you'll go left, right, and bring the product on down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that again. And the key is when you're connecting the next bead, you'll wanna set it down first to make the contact. You all see now it has contact, okay? And then now you can kind of maneuver it where you want it to be. So now I'll go in with my left and right motion here. Left, right, left, right, left, right. So bring it all the way down to the free edge here. And yeah, that looks good to me, y'all. And it's self-leveling nicely. Only thing I wanna do is go in and clean up the cuticle because it did touch the cuticle. I'm gonna clean that up really quick. Hit that sidewall. And yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. That's what the two fingers are looking like. Y'all, I'm like obsessed with this color, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the pinky finger as well. So again, you go in with the slip layer, you guys. You take some gel and you'll go ahead and build the nail out. Start right there at the cuticle and bring the product down. Go on side to side. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then as you're building out the free edge, you'll kind of want to float the product as well, kind of with the tip of the brush. Yeah, like so. Add just a little bit more gel on here, just so that I have enough structure on the nail. I think it's kind of thin on this one here. So as I was floating this product, I realized that the position of my hand was kind of difficult. You all will see me here shortly switch to land my fingers flat on the table. This was a lot easier for application. Alrighty, that looks good to me. I'm gonna cure for 60. All the nails have been applied except for the ring finger. I did go ahead and apply the thumb off camera. It's looking nice, looking good. I went in and built up the structure of the thumb a little bit more and I kind of like how it looks. So I actually think I'm gonna go in and build up the rest of the nails a little bit more. So as I'm building up the structure on these nails, I wanted to say, I believe this is my second time actually um, doing Builder Gel nails um, out of a pot. 
And it's my first time actually working with the uh, uh, actual hard gel, meaning that I have to file it off to remove it. I must say this gel was very easy to work with. It was hot in my room this day. And so you all could see that the, that the gel really flowed a lot quicker and it moved a little bit more freely than it did in my original swatch video. But yeah, super beginner friendly. Alrighty, so this is what the first few nails are looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and put this color away, which is Wild Blossom. Um, one of the reasons too um, that I left part of this seal on here is so that when I want to wipe my brush clean, I can. So I'm actually just gonna use that to wipe my brush off, okay? And then get ready for my next color. So on my ring finger, I'm gonna go in with Dusty Rose. And this is what Dusty Rose looks like really pretty and I'm gonna apply that to my ring finger now before I do that I'm gonna go in and clean off my brush to clean my brush off I'm simply gonna just wipe it on this lint-free wipe oops that's it <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything else to it um, and once I keep wiping and see that nothing else is coming off I know that it's clean enough okay and again I am gonna do my slip layer first so I hit my side wall pretty bad over here I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up before um, I have lifting and such, so I'm just gonna take that off like so. And now I'm gonna go in and build the nail out. I built that out really fast and perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. This is what the dusty rose looks like on the ring finger. And honestly, you guys, I really can't even tell the difference between the ring pink finger and the rest of them. It's just ever so slightly lighter, but it kind of blends in, which is pretty cool. So that is this hand here. On my right hand, I'm gonna go in with brown orchid. That is what this color is looking like. It's a really beautiful soft brown. So I'm gonna show you all just on my index finger how I apply this one. And I'm gonna be going in with my non-dominant hand for this application. I'm gonna really just repeat that same process, all right? So start at the cuticle, get kinda close, get behind the product, and then work it down. Oops, like so. And then go left, right. Okay, happy people. So with this nail, I did realize I forgot to go in with the slip layer, but I still was able to build the structure of the nail properly. Looks good to me, I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. This is what the nails are looking like after the um, brown orchid has been applied to all the nails. Next, I'm gonna go in with Peach Perfect on my ring finger, okay? This is pretty. So I'm gonna just lay my hand on the desk because uh, it's a little hard trying to do this. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like. So this is brown orchid and peach perfect on the ring, brown orchid on all the rest of the nails. I'm gonna go through and build up the structure off camera, but I'm gonna kind of give it that thickness. And um, yeah, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and just rub off the sticky layer, file shape and buff, and then I'll be back to do some nail art, okay? This is what the nails are looking like after they've been file shaped and buff. I think I did pretty good with my shaping, you guys. Um, it wasn't too hard. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult to file because it's like hard gel, but um, it's still gel, gel nonetheless, so it was pretty easy to file. So now I'm gonna go in with my top coat, my shiny top coat from Lissette's Gel Nails, and then I'm gonna go in with my nail art on top of that. This is what the nails are looking like after top coat has been applied. You guys, I'm absolutely loving these colors. Um, let me know which one is your favorite color on me. So on this hand, I have um, Wild Blossom on all the fingers except for my ring. And on my ring, I have Dusty Rose. So let me know what you guys think about that. And then on this hand over here, on all the fingers, I have Brown Orchid. And then on my, my ring finger, I have Perfect Peach. Um, I think out of all of them, the Wild Blossom is my favorite, and then the second favorite is the Perfect Peach. So let me know what you guys think. Um, now I'm gonna move into some nail art. So I am gonna be going in with these two colors from Rosalind, and I'm going in with uh, the C483 and the C475. And I'm just gonna draw some really cute hearts and make this like a cute little Valentine's Day set. I did decide to go in with my Oomt Peel Off Base Coat because I do wanna go ahead and 
pop this design right off once I'm done. So I've already applied that to all the nails. Next I'm going to go in with these two colors and I already have them on my palette. I want to make this cute little heart design here. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I'm going to do a V-Day little inspired Manny. Um, and so what you want to do is you'll go in with your dotting tool. I'm going in with this one here and you will just take some of the gel polish on your dotting tool and you will just make two dots not too far from each other like so okay from there what you want to do is just connect the the dots kind of at the far end on either side and create like a V at the bottom you'll take a little bit more gel polish on your brush and then kind of connect it here in the middle and then you have a perfect heart you guys isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create the hearts on all of the nails and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is what we have so far. Next I'm going to go in and I actually think I want to go in with like a little bit of a small heart. So I'm going to use the opposite end of my dotting tool and I'm going to make those hearts pink. Go in with the hearts like so. And then we'll just go ahead and do all the dots on each net on each nail just to make it quicker. <laughs> and repeat that same process where I'm just kind of connecting them at the bottom, creating a V to create the heart. Like so. And this is just a really cute, simple, dainty, you know, V-Day set. and cure for 60 seconds. So this is what my cute little hearts are looking like. The last thing left to do is just go in with some top coat to seal everything in. So that is what I am going to do. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how this cute little dainty Valentine's Day set turned out. I love, love, love how these hearts are popping against these nude um, hard gels. In regards to my Rosalind gel polishes, yes, I absolutely love them, you guys. And we can't forget what else this set does, okay? They actually glow in the dark. How cute. I'm gonna also insert a picture of me in like a really dark room so you guys can really see the glow but I'm absolutely loving it, okay? Like, what, what a fun way to, you know, bring in V-Day, okay? Hey Google, lights on. No! Oh my God. Y'all, okay, so <laughs> I just had the biggest scare. My ring light is trying to go out on me, holy moly. Y'all pray for my ring light. I was able to get it to turn back on, but I'm a little scared. So, anywho, these Rosalind polishes, they were beautiful to work with, okay? Absolutely beautiful. A special shout out to Rosalind for sending these over for review. I definitely appreciate it. I really, really, really enjoyed working with Lissette's products. I am a huge fan and I can foresee myself just constantly always keeping these on my nails just to protect them. Recently my nails went through some pretty bad damage and so for me doing XX filing, and so yeah, I feel like these products are gonna be really good for helping protect my nails and look done at all times. And so yeah, I'm really loving her products and I can't wait to try them and test them out even more. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!